What is up everyone, Volithis here, and this is the FanFest 2016 vlog. This is the pre-day or the pre-registration day. Um, my brother and I went to the event. We got there about 30 minutes till they closed the registration at 8 p.m. in Las Vegas. So basically what happens is um, there weren't any lines or anything, you know, it was towards the end of the day we got there. Basically they gave you a swag bag. <laughs> here so to say I have and you got your um, lanyard so without further ado we'll go into details first thing of course is what the swag bag here you know looks like got some stuff in here um, obviously a lot of this stuff is already out um, for example the we got the pointer minion as a little glove here if I can, it's actually more difficult to fit my fingers in this once it's actually blown up I'm actually so we have this thing here that we got um, so and then they gave us let me grab the lanyard here so we have the lanyard it says adventure um, on the back you know it has a uh, general context that you're supposed to wear it on it if you guys can see here it has the actual classes i believe all 12 do we have 12 classes here um of the battle orientation here um basically you know during the event you just need to wear it make sure it's visible etc etc uh let's see here they gave us codes here um so we have the choice of course from you have the abes or the high summoner attire Plus the uh, Riku minion has the code in there. Um, which I just realized I have to do that for my account. Um, something interesting here is all these came with triple triad cards. Now what they did, um, since I'm recording this later, um, is it came with five. Mine came with Gobbert here. And basically there were five other ones. We have the Saboteur. Um, Lady Iceheart has the high commander here, Sir Emmerich, and I don't recognize this person. I believe this is someone we have yet to be revealed. We'll go into detail on that. Um, so for the cards, you know, you just walked around, um, traded them. A lot of people were saying, you know, Gobbert was pretty common to my extent, Lady Iceheart. Sir Emmerich was supposed to be rare, as well as the Saboteur, and this mystery character, I'm not sure. This might actually be a character in game, I just don't recognize her. But, um, I didn't get all my cards till Saturday. Um, I got most of them on Friday. The last one I just knew was Saboteur. I actually ran into person, traded Saboteur, and got that full set. Um, it's, you know, it was a neat little event, got you to talking to people, trading. Um, I think there was possibly a few people that didn't want to trade. I mean, that's up to them. Just makes it harder for the card search. We got here, which I have left in the pack here, are job stickers. If you can see, um, we have the Dragoon dead. It has all the current jobs. Four, five. So there's 13 jobs, actually. And then... I believe... Of course, they gave us... Some other things, they have a card here for ViewSonic mon gaming monitors, um, so you can get 15% off. Actually, it's not just monitors, they have projectors and accessories, and free shipping. Um, you might look into that. Might need more monitors, of course. And then we have some other things here. So we have a little bag here, and then it has a Gunner code to um, get 15% off any gunner I wear. I'm actually considering looking into that just because not only in my free time, but at work, you know, I sit in front of a computer all day. Might help my eyes a little bit. I'm pretty blind. Um, and then we got a Final Fantasy pen for the event. I pretty much just used that pen for the event if anyone needed to sign anything or anything like that. Um, we got the program booklet, which unfortunately for me is not in the best condition. Um, talked about the sponsors for the event, uh, the event schedule, 
um, some of the events that would be there, talks about, you know, the actual events that are scheduled, what they would do, the in the mini games and stuff like that, the activities, as well as a map layout. And they had a personal notes and autographs section set up there. Let's see what else we got here. Almost out of all the items. They came with a saboteur magnet. I actually like this magnet a lot. It needs to go in my fridge ASAP. A ADS stress ball. That's what I need. I need more stress relief in my life. And then I joked about recently that I needed a new flash drive. So we have an Allegan, Allegan Tombstone 16-bit flash drive. So I guess I don't have to go get one. Get it out here. Um, so that, that there it is. Final Fantasy 14 on the back. Standard, you know, flash drive here. Um, so that's about it for what was in the bag. That's all we re you really did for pre-reg. Um, I think, you know, a lot of the more YouTubers and stuff like that were having meetups and stuff like that. Um, the pre-reg, you know, most of that day was spent traveling to get to the event. Um, maybe next year I'll try to get there a little bit earlier. Um, I mean, event-wise, there's not much. I was glad enough to get to the pre-reg in time and get that taken care of so I didn't have to worry about the next day. I also forgot to mention during the event they had a hack pop item um, in the swag bag there was a code on it, it was four digit code and they had drawings every so often basically the last drawing was at the end of the day there was 24 drawings altogether I believe I think there was 12 for each day um, I didn't win anything in that but they did have that drawing it was included in the swag bag and it was just a four digit code um, the only thing I have to say on that is congrats to, to those that claim their prizes. Um, it was just a neat thing that they added to the event. So that concludes for day zero. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment down below what is your favorite part in the swag bag. Um, I don't really have a favorite or do you like all the items in it? really have no complaints about any of the items in the bag. The only thing for me is like I don't know where I'm going to do the job stickers or maybe I'll just hold on to them. Just keep them the way they are. Um, just keep them somewhere safe. Um, and I mean, even the triple track herds have stats. Um, and they recently talked about how Final Fantasy released a trading card game. And I said, you know, I'd rather just have triple triad cards. And here we are. I have some now. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel. More videos to come. And it's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.